I'll be showing anonymous grading in Microsoft Teams assignments. This can allow teachers to remove student avatars and their names temporarily while reviewing and grading. So first off, let's go into my science class and I'll switch to assignments. Now you can see there's a geography assignment. I'm the educator and I assigned this and it looks like six out of six students have turned this in. So let's go in and grade it. Now here are my six students listed here. And if they had images for their avatars, you would see those as well. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, I always talk about Alex, my star student. Well, in this case, you know what? I don't want to know who Alex is, who Sam is, who Ella is, and I can anonymize them to make sure there's no bias coming in when I'm looking at these papers. So if I go to the dot, dot, dot menu right here, I can choose hide student names. This is a new choice. I'll click this. It's shuffling and hiding student names. So it shuffled the order. There's no more avatar, no picture, and it just says student. So I just go to the very first student here and it opens up a paper. I can review this paper. I can give my feedback right here and you know, I can give the points and I can return it. And then I move to the next student. You can also see even in the speed grader dropdown, all it has is student listed. So I can give feedback here, grade the paper, and this has 15 points and return and so on and so forth. I'll just speed through and grade the rest of the papers. Now I'm all done. And if I go to the returned, you can see that they're still anonymized. Now I can go to the dot, dot, dot menu and show the student name. So it's just temporary. Now I can see exactly who the names are, their avatars are back and the points. And look at this, my star student, Alex, he didn't do as well this time. Who knows, maybe there was some bias in the way that I was always thinking about my star student, Alex. So this is a way to really make sure that you can anonymize names temporarily as you're grading and then returning work. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.